Hi everyone, Renee here from Tippy.com and we are looking at the iOS 4 home button. Right now, iOS 4.2 for the iPad because it is a big change from the original iOS 3.2 to the 4.2. The home button changes a lot. So um, first, what stays the same is if you are in the home screen and you click once, it'll still take you to Spotlight, take you back again. If you're on a page that's further away from the main page, you click, it'll take you back again. You also have um, similar accessibility options as before. So, for example, if I go to accessibility, um, I can set triple clicking home to either toggle voiceover, toggle white and black, or ask me what I want it to do. So I'll just choose ask me for now. So I'm in here, I triple click, and it pops over, and I can turn on white and black mode. I can turn it off. I can turn on zoom mode, so now I'm zoomed in uh, for a bigger view. Can turn off that voiceover, so there you have your triple click functionality. That part is the same. The new part is now you can double click the home button and it brings up the fast app switcher. So this is like almost like a, a second hidden dock in the background because these are the background applications, the applications that um, you left running, uh, they don't quit anymore when you exit the app, and we'll explain that in a minute, but you can use this to quickly go between apps. So for example, you can go from Safari, it was already loading in the background, and I can double click, I can go to the iTunes store, I can double click, go right back to Safari, um, and it pretty much keeps your position wherever you are. There's also some hidden gems you can get to here. So, for example, you can get to whatever music or media is currently playing, because now you have background audio. You can adjust the volume of that. Here is your AirPlay, which you can send stuff to the Apple TV. Your forward, back, play, pause, skip controls. You have a brightness control, so if you're reading in bed, you can turn the brightness down. If you're in a bright light, you can turn it up. And because the hardware button is now a mute switch like the iPhone, you have this software rotation lock here. So that is important to know. Another interesting side effect, like uh, Dan Benjamin from 5x5 has been saying, is if you have young kids, they might be used to playing a game. So for example, here is the incident. And it's going to start up like normal the first time I play it. Um, but then what happens is, if I exit the game, and I hit it again, it just goes right back to where I was. It doesn't restart the game. So the side effect, you know, if I, if I multitask, it's the same thing. The side effect of this is that children who might be used to playing the game and pressing the home button to quit it, you know, almost like a do-over, a mulligan, uh, they can no longer do that because the game will just start off in exactly the same place they left it. So what you have to do now, uh, whether you're you know, a kid playing a game or you want to reset whatever app you're in, you double click home, you bring up the multitasking dock, you hold your finger down, and you just kill it the same way you would delete an app on the home screen. It doesn't delete it, however, it just uh, stops it from running in the background. It forces the saved state to reload. Um, if you quit something like mail, for example, it will come back immediately because you have to be able to get your mail. But if you quit something like the incident, it is just going to reload the next time you play the game. So now it's going to start all over again from scratch.